Kelly Reno, who covers the Justice Department for us, joins us now. Kelly, can you tell us anything about arrests that have been made or that are pending? Well, law enforcement sources uh, are telling CNN that at this moment they do have several people in custody. They will not describe those people as suspects. At best, they said these are people who may be able to provide important material information regarding the case. Um, when, when asked what does in custody mean, arrested or just in for questioning, they couldn't elaborate at that point. But they also add that there are also people in custody, same, same mode, in Florida, southern Florida, who are also uh, not described as suspects, but people who may provide material information uh, regarding yesterday's terrorist attacks. Uh, we, as I said, Aaron, we, we do not know um, what information led them to these people. We do know that there have been several uh, investiga investigative leads that have led them to certain flight schools. We know that there is um, Huffman Aviation School. FBI officials are there. They are interested in particular in one student there, we are told by sources. So we do know that investigative leads have led the FBI to various flight schools and, and facilities that have flight um, simulator training equipment. And we do know that those uh, passenger manifests on the plane have led um, investigators to both Boston and Florida. Um, there were people identified on those lists as either uh, people who had been either sympathizers with um, Osama bin Laden's cause or people that uh, for one reason or another raised a flag with uh, INS or with uh, federal investigators. Aaron? Uh, Kelly, just uh, help me with one thing. This, this first group of, uh, we, won't, we won't call them suspects, I'm not sure what we will call them. They are in custody in Boston, is that correct? That's right. Several okay. in Boston and several in, in southern Florida in, as well. In, in south Florida. Then let's go to Bill Delaney, who's our bureau chief in Boston. Uh, Bill, tell me what you're hearing, what you know. Well, Aaron, what we're hearing very much is what Kelly Arena is reporting. For about an hour or so now, reports flying around here of imminent arrests. We had heard rumors of that sort of thing, uh, even from sources in the Middle East. Earlier this morning, it now appears that these uh, material, these, these people that may provide some sort of material information, as Kelly said, they're not being specifically described as suspects, have now uh, been, been arrested. Now, we had a press conference here about 45 minutes or so ago, including the head of the FBI here. He could not be drawn at all to confirm any of the many reports uh, here in Boston about arrests. But about the most concrete thing we have here, Aaron, is that there's a car out at an FBI processing uh, facility in the Boston area that was taken from the central parking garage here uh, last night. A car, a Mitsubishi Mirage, a rented car, in which were documents. Many of them, it has been widely reported uh, in Arabic, including it has been reported a, a plan uh, for the attack in Arabic, as well as some kind of Arab language flight training manual, that car being gone over at that FBI processing facility. Also, apparently, at that, at that processing facility, the FBI going over chairs they took from the uh, terminal building, uh, or one of the terminal buildings, because these two flights left from two different uh, terminal buildings, uh, chairs they're examining for DNA evidence that may point to suspects in this. Now, journalist John Wells was part, uh, Aaron, uh, of, a, of a team here uh, that came up with some information overnight about who the suspects may be, who these hijackers may have been. Journalist John Wells of the Boston Herald. All right, we're, we're having a problem.